A deadly disease is wiping out bats across the country, and now biologists fear a central Texas infection is inevitable. KXN's Aaron Cargill is live at the Congress Avenue Bridge downtown to explain. Aaron? Well, Robert, a fungus has been spreading like crazy between bats and proven deadly for some colonies. Now, it has not yet affected our furry friends here under the Congress Bridge, but local biologists say there is a very good chance that Mexican free tails will start spreading it. In four years, the infection has decimated more than one million bats. It's moving faster than we ever expected. It's killing more bats than we ever expected. The culprit, white nose syndrome, named after a fungus that grows on the noses and wings of bats, giving them a white fuzzy appearance. It burrows into their skin and messes with their hibernation. They wake up too many times during the winter. They burn through all their stored fat reserves and they simply starve to death. Before the winter's over, then they wind up on the landscape looking for food, but it's the middle of winter, so there is no food. Bat Conservation International, headquartered in Austin, has been tracking the condition from where it was first spotted in New York. It's now affected the flying mammals in 14 states, killing bats from six species. Recently, the fungus was detected in three new species that can be found in Texas. Southeastern bats, gray bats, and cave bats, also called cave myotis, which live right here in central Texas. They roost with our local Mexican free tails, which have not been affected yet. We think Mexican free tail bats won't be dying from white nose syndrome, but we are worried that they're going to be carriers. There's no cure or safe treatment to stop the spread, and where the fungus came from is still a mystery. But some evidence points to Europe and the possibility that humans transported it here. Many states have taken action, closing down caves to try to slow down the spread. But scientists fear we'll all feel the far-reaching results. You're bound to see increased insect populations, and who knows? I can't predict what those uh, cascading effects will be. Now, the fungus does not pose a threat to humans, and efforts are underway to secure more federal funding to research a cure. Live in downtown Austin, Aaron Cargill, KXAN, Austin News.